Well, hello there and welcome back to my channel. It has been a short minute of me posting regularly and I know I say this in every video. I am trying my best, but <laughs> there is so much going on right now. So uh, it's not really a priority right now, but I am trying to get back into it and make it a priority. So yeah. Please don't leave my channel. I'm trying my hardest. <laughs> I will have weekly videos now because I have a schedule and I will be sticking to it so you will be seeing my face more often and more regularly and more consistently. And another thing, my hair it looks very, very straight. Well, for my taste, because my hair is normally always like this little poofy afro. Uh, yeah, I have shea butter in my hair. And if anybody is interested in that, I could maybe make a video on that. But I really like how my hair sits. It's pretty cool. It's never been this long, as in with curls, because normally my shrinkage is so extreme, but I put it in when it's still wet or damp, and then it just stays the length that it is, which is pretty dang cool. But yeah, that's not the topic of this video. The topic of this video is how to become a YouTuber. I think this is the most asked question in the times right now, because being a YouTuber, if you really want to be one and you really want to make videos, it is linked to financial freedom. It is linked to partnerships with cool brands. It is linked to all kinds of different communities or building your own community in which you feel safe and nourished <laughs> from all kinds of different ideas. I think being a YouTuber is on the top of a lot of people's lists. I have a few tips or maybe more of ideas as to how to start your youtuberism journey <laughs> and without further ado we're just gonna get into it because then i'm just gonna start rambling and it's gonna make no sense what i'm talking about so we're just gonna go and start with number one <laughs> number one is always be yourself this mostly just works in your favor because you will first of all not have to remember what character you decided to play in your videos or want to play in your videos and your audience will also pick up on you being genuine and authentic and just yourself because it can get a little bit tiring or it feels weird and forced so try to be yourself even if you think you're cringy and unwatchable somebody will like it somebody will watch you this is something i was literally fighting myself about in the beginning because i thought nobody wants to watch me i am so uninteresting i am so boring but somebody does and some people watch my videos so there is something about me that some people like or that resonates with them and that is good enough for me to continue making these videos because it's a lot of fun and it's even more fun if you can find some people that actually like your content and want to engage with it so be yourself. I know I said that like five times now, but it's very important. And I think this is a very cool way to connect with people that you never thought that you would connect with because we're all weirdos. We are. I just like watching different personalities. By being yourself, you attract people that are attracted to you and to your personality. My second point would be share things that you are interested in. I recommend making videos that you can be proud of or are proud of and just really enjoy making. If I were making content that I didn't like, I would stop doing it. And if I really do not enjoy it, I will definitely find something else to spend my time on. And that interests me more because it gets repetitive and boring. And I would always try to like find a way to escape the situation. And this would in turn result in me procrastinating, not doing the videos, not editing them, not recording them. And then in the end, just quitting altogether. So I recommend that you really think about what you want to post and what you want to make videos about, because if you're anything like me, if you don't like it, your interest will start fading quickly. And that is not what we want. Okay, and on to my third point, to niche or not to niche? It is a very common question, to niche or not to niche, because some people say that you need to niche down, you need to find a niche, and uh, if you don't have a niche, then you will confuse your audience. 
I just said niche a lot of times and I don't even think it's a word anymore, but we're gonna continue saying it because I'm not done with my point yet. <laughs> and some people argue that you do not need to niche down because why concentrate on one topic when you can concentrate on more? And I kind of lean towards the second type of people. I don't want to niche down my content. Somebody will like something because there is so much to choose from. I have like three main points that I talk about, but if I want to talk about something else or spend my time researching different videos, I will because I don't want to put myself in a box. It's not a bad thing, but I don't want to because like I said, my interest fades very quickly. And if I'm not interested, I just won't do it and I will procrastinate. That is a very hard word to say. I will not box myself into a box. <laughs> and that's why I probably will never niche down unless I really see that the engagement is fleeting and no longer there, then maybe I will decide to concentrate on one thing, but I don't, I don't feel like it. I would find it boring, for instance, if I would just make videos about fashion. Yes, I love fashion, but I also like other things. And it makes my brainstorming way much more fun and productive when I have more topics that I want to make videos about and I don't have to restrict myself to one topic just because that's what my audience knows me for. I want my audience to know me for more than just one topic. So I can post different videos about different things and they will not be disappointed because this is what I set out to do from the beginning and they know that. And that's why I haven't really given myself a niche from the beginning of starting this channel because I just wanna be free and do whatever I want to in that moment. And I also thought that running out of ideas will happen a little bit less this way because I have so many different topics that I am interested in and there will always be something to talk about. I watch a lot of YouTubers that do way more than just one topic and they are doing just fine. They are doing really good, exceptionally good to be exact. They have so many subscribers and so many views. The more choices there are, the more people that are going to want to choose. You understand what I'm trying to lay down? Yeah. See, these are moments where you're cringy, but you're gonna see this later and think maybe somebody thinks this is funny. <laughs> so I'm definitely probably gonna keep it in the video. And now on to my end note. In the end, you decide what you will make your YouTube channel about. You can choose to niche down or stay nicheless. Your channel, your choice. <laughs> That's a bit cheesy, but I'm probably gonna keep it in the video because I think it sounds cute. I think that the only thing that really matters when you are pursuing or already in the process of making a YouTube channel is that it has to be fun and you have to enjoy what you're doing. Because if you're not having fun, what is the point anyways? It's like working a job you don't want to do, but it's in your free time and it's your hobby, so... I wouldn't want to do it <laughs> if I wouldn't enjoy it. And if you feel that a YouTube channel is not something that you are interested in or want to start creating for, there are all kinds of different platforms that you can get yourself acquainted with. For instance, you can start making a podcast, you can start writing a blog, you can start posting short videos on TikTok or longer videos, I think you're able to do that now. Reels on Instagram, posting pictures on Instagram because pictures are going to be more in the foreground this year. I think, I don't know, Instagram is confusing the hell out of me, but yeah, you can make shorter content over there or pictures if you want. And there's also Pinterest. And there are probably way more that I did not list that you can pursue online that do not have to have anything to do with YouTube. I always like to say, don't stress it. And if it will be, it will be. And if it won't, just don't force it. And with that, I want to end this video. I've been rambling on for a long time. I'm gonna have to edit so much out of this video because I was just talking so much nonsense. But this is a topic that I really like and yeah, I hope it helped you in any way and that you could resonate with the video. You could take anything from it. And if you could maybe, maybe consider pressing the like button or maybe even subscribing to my channel and you can see this face a few times a week. So that's something to think about. Go ahead and leave your thoughts in the comments below. If I missed anything that you think is really important to starting a YouTube channel, let me know and maybe I will make a part two to this video because it was pretty short because I thought that these three tips or ideas were the most important 
just so you can get started and start getting a feel for starting a YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Okay, that was weird. I am so sorry. <laughs>